Welcome everyone. My name is Lisa Shaw and I just thought I would pop in and do a quick live video today showing us how to do use envelopes with existing designs. So uh, this is a feature in the Embrilliance platform. We have an envelopes library that can be installed and this library can be found at on the Embrilliance website in the project blog. Eric Campbell has listed the link below. I will edit the description of this live video as well as when it gets uploaded to YouTube, we will put the live video uh, link is uh, that live video, the link to the uh, Embrilliance libraries for the envelopes with all the instructions on how to use them. But I thought I'd pop in here and show you a real life example because on the Brilliant in Brilliance group, which is our Facebook group here with over 30,000 people. So if you haven't joined the Brilliant in Brilliance group, you really should get over there and, and do that. Uh, there was a one of, recently a design that was posted and she had enveloped the lettering, the name of the child that was going in there. So I thought I'd pop in and show you all how to do that. So let's switch on over to the software and see how that's done. Here is an example. The design itself is from Luna Stitches. They also have a Facebook group, but their website is listed here. Whoops, I have to make sure I'm pointing in the right, right direction because I have my, my little picture. But if you can see, design from lunastitches.com, that is where the dinosaur file comes from. So I, I brought it into my program and I added an envelope. So let's see, let's go start from scratch and see how easily this is done. So I already have opened my design and this is what you get. Now, those of you that have Essentials or one of the other programs without and don't have Stitch Artists and they just want to add a sh sort of a shaped uh, lettering that goes into this, you can use the libraries. So if you're to add a from the library files, I'm going to click on this gear here. And this is where your envelope library has been installed. And they, we have a whole bunch of shapes that are listed here. And I thought that the wide oval one kind of matched his body. And that's what we're going to go for. So I'm selecting the wide oval and I click OK and it places a an oval shape with the envelope right here in the middle of our design. I'm going to just move it sort of into place just so that I'm, and I'm paying attention to this little skinny outline that's around here because this little skinny border, that is the shape of the envelope that we're going to shape our letters to. And I'm going to rotate it by clicking on the blue dot in the upper right corner, move it into place, and I can even reshape this, make it a little taller, a little wider, and just to get a general idea of what it is that I want. Now, the only part that I'm using of this envelope itself is the wireframe shape that's in here. I'm not going to stitch out the black border because I don't need it, but it's a good guide and it does help you move your envelope because when you're moving things in essentials, your cursor needs to be on stitches in essentials. So when I move this, I put my mouse cursor on the black satin oval so that I can move him where he needs to be. Now look at our object pane. That oval has a satin border and an envelope with a 10 at the end of it. Now before I'm going to delete the satin border, eventually. I'll show you how to do that at the end, but I'm just going to leave it in place so that you can go step by step when you're doing this in your software. To add lettering to the envelope, I'm going to click on my lettering tool and that puts your ABC in the center of the screen and you don't need to worry about where it's placed because I'm going to give it a job and the job of this lettering is to be assigned to the envelope number 10. So when I click on my letters, lettering object in my object pane, and it says letters, I'm going to go to the very last, right after the S. So I click on the, the name letters. So I'm going to rename it. I'm going to put a space and I'm going to put the number 10 and I'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard. All of a sudden you saw the letters just jump up there. So it's like, okay, I'm kind of linked to this envelope, 
but I know there's a, something else that's going to happen. And what's going to happen is that I'm going to select my text that says ABC and I'm going to type in a name like N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. And I'm going to hit the enter key to change my text and it's in sort of the envelope. And as soon as I put my mouse cursor in the white space and click off of the text, kaboom, I get my shape text that sort of fits in there. And now I can select that satin border here at the top, hit the delete key on my keyboard, and I can sort of see that my shape text has been added. You would want to finagle it. You can't really reshape the object unless you have Stitch Artist but you can reshape it as far as selecting the object itself, dragging a corner to reshape it, make it larger, move it around in space so that it, because you're going to need to move the envelope itself, and reshape it so that it fits properly, okay? But if you want it to look really shaped, like I did in my example, and you have Stitch Artist, that's super easy to do as well. So let me first, I'm going to delete my, this one here, select the next one, and I am back to just my plain design. Stitch Artist. You can do this in any level. Envelopes, creating your own, is available in level one, level two, level three, which is wicked powerful for such, if you have Stitch Artist level one, you can do this. Super easy. There's our other videos on the In Brilliance YouTube channel on the Stitch Artist playlist. Brian recently put one up there on how to create envelopes. We're just going to bring it and run through a quick recap of how that's done here. I need to draw a shape. And so I'm going to click on my Draw with Points tool. That's up here at the top where it says Draw with Points. I'm going to put my mouse cursor in my design page area. And my mouse cursor needs to be at the top left because when you create an envelope, it needs to start at the left and complete itself. It needs to have, to have a left side, a right side, and it has to have a top and a bottom. So you need to kind of create a shape so that your letters can be morphed into that shape. So I'm gonna start at this left side, I'm gonna left click. And I kind of wanna create, this is just gonna be a, a shape of what my dinosaur looks like and I can move these nodes around but I'm going to get to this point here and which is near his neck and I know that I want to head down so I'm going to hold down the shift key while I click and what that does is that creates a cusp and if you want to understand how cusps are and difference between cuffs and curves and straight points again our YouTube channel has great videos on how to draw with points so I'm putting two cusps here to create that that square edge on this side and now I'm going to head back by just left clicking and I probably should have been a little more swoopy on the bottom when I get to this top here again I'm I want it to be a cusp so I held down my shift key and I'm going to right click to stop and I'm going to hit the little tomato button here I call this my circular tomato that's how to close the stitches and that close our closes our shape so that I now have what we call an envelope that can be adjusted and shaped to fit our lettering. So it kind of looks like our dinosaur body in a certain way. I have this design here and it's just a line and I need to give it the job of an envelope. So I need to click on the, the shape itself and I double click on it so that it selects the word line and I type in envelope, E-N-V-E-L-O-P-E. -E -E. And you must spell it correctly because otherwise it doesn't work. Hit the enter key so that it keeps its name. Now we're going to click on our lettering tool and it puts ABC in the center. I'm going to click on in my text box. I select the ABC and I can type in A-D-R-I-A-N and hit the enter key on my keyboard and it puts Adrian in the center of my envelope. When I click off, Kaboom! It shapes that that lettering to be exactly like the shape that we drew. So what you have to pay attention is when you click on your lettering object, it does go back into normal shape. 
That's just because it has to, it's going to be assigned back to our properties and it's going to change. So it goes back to the default. So that's straight line. So you can change your spacing, change your, um, your font. Cause this also works with BX fonts. So I'm using block font because I, I personally, I think that in this particular design, using a fancy funky font, may be a little too fancy funky for this particular design. But if you happen to have one on here, such as, oh, here is designs by Juju typewriter. And I'm going to choose the inch and a quarter click outside and it reshapes it so that it fits it. So it works both with built-in and the fonts that built-in fonts and installed BX fonts. This can be, if you want to reshape your envelope, it's part of Stitch Artist. So just make sure that you're in create mode, you get your nodes and you can move your nodes. And when you do that, your lettering is adjusted back that it was. I see I'm getting some comments here on this side. People think that this is awesome, great stuff. Um, Eric has listed the envelope link to the video right in the comments. So if you want to watch Brian's video to get a more in-depth explanation on how envelopes work, he's giving you the link. Janice says, I forgot holding the shift key makes a straight line. Actually, the shift key makes a cusp, which means you can do like a... Um, a heart, that's a cusp. If you hold down the control key, that does a, a straight line node. And all those are in the drawing videos that are on the Stitch Artist, all the shortcuts, the shift and the control key. Michelle says she didn't realize creating envelopes was that easy. Yes, it is. The one thing to think about with envelopes is that you have the, an envelope is a shape and a, your lettering has a left side and a right side and a top and a bottom. So even if you draw a circle, that really it has no sides. So you have to make sure that you have nodes on the sides. An easy way to look at, um, if you're trying to draw envelopes, go into your library, into the envelopes that are already created for us. Whoops, I have to go back into my, yeah, went to my envelopes here. And choose one of the ones that is already created for you. For example, the circular one, click OK. Go into Stitch Artist, which you're in here, and look at how their circle actually has straight sides on it. It's going to morph into a circle. It's going to envelope into the circle shape, but it needs to have a left side and a right side, as well as the circular shape top and bottom. So crazy wild, isn't it? I think so too, Pam. So I just thought that this would be a, um, a quick video showing you how to do this in the Embrilliant software using, if you have essentials, you're not ready to jump into Stitch Artist yet, you can use one of the built-in envelopes. When you're ready to take that plunge and create something so fun, simple, and as Michelle said, easy, <laughs> you can get Stitch Artist level one and create your own videos. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video and I, it will be available for you to watch a replay. It will be here on the Embrilliance Facebook page. And we'll also upload it to our YouTube channel where we have a huge resource available to you on videos on how to use the Embrilliance programs. Quick and easy software. That's what Embrilliance is all about. Thanks for taking some time with me today. And I hope that you are inspired to create and do some fun things. Thank you very much and have a wonderful week.